Towards the end of the Abracadabra book for saxophone is Scott Joplin's The Entertainer. Now, I suspect the book is kind of relying on uh, the player having an understanding of how the entertainer goes. So, you know, it's that tune. Do, 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 bum, ba, dum, ba, dum. Now, this version is on semi quavers, so it's in 2 4, and it creates a counting dilemma. Now, what I mean by them relying on you knowing how it goes is they want you to take your memory of the piece and associate it with what you're seeing on the page to hopefully make all these semi quavers make some sense. So I'm just going to play it for a moment. We'll see what's going on here. <laughs> intimidating but more intimidating is the actual rhythm in order to absolutely ace this rhythm you have to have a good grasp of semi quaver subdivision so they're relying on your knowledge of the piece you know da da ba ba da ba da but now we have to try and fit it to this 2 4 semi quaver framework da 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 and a one e and a two e and a one e and a two ba da ba 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 da so we have a lot of semi quavers now if it's all completely mesmerizing, what you can do is you can just spot semiquavers. Just individually play in each of the semiquavers. When a quaver comes along, imagine two semiquavers. So, one e and a two e and a two. So, it's a bit rough, but at least it gives you something to go on to start off with. So at the start we have some semiquavers, da da da, then a quaver, da, another semiquaver, da, another semiquaver, da, so just counting two semiquavers, da da, and then you got a quaver rest, okay, count two semiquavers, the semiquaver rest, another semiquaver, and then the lead in, bum 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 bum, so the ties again, they're like two semiquavers added together. Now obviously that's incredibly busy, you don't want to be bouncing up and down your beat. Overall, or ultimately, our goal is to be able to get groups of four semiquavers. But that's still a bit of a leap. So now that we've forced out semiquavers, now let's just think quavers. So we take our two four, imagine it's like a four 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 bar, you know, your four counts, however, it's going to be like in this context, four eight, four quavers. So we have da 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 da. Now this is kind of hard in a way because we've got this these syncopated quaver, the syncopated quaver feel. Da 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 da. But it at least gives you another stepping stone. Quaver, quaver. But the next step, of course, is now grouping them together. But in my mind, it's still thinking those semiquavers. Always counting semiquavers. So, um, obviously, you have to have a good knowledge of where the beat is. So, really, as much as it might be painful to try and force out a bit of coordination, you really just have to try and feel those beginnings of those beats. But uh, semiquavers. One e and a two e and a. Anyway, so that's the introduction of the piece. It actually has a second half. It's a little bit easier here. There's a few more semiquavers to help the flow. Fine. So back to the sign until the finish. So del segno al fine, if you want to learn some Italian, there we go, from the sign until the finish. Uh, so one trick to try and make this 
um, last section a little bit uh, musical. Just make sure you're not trying to breathe too often. There's four bar phrases. So for example, the temptation will be to breathe every bar or maybe every two bars. Try and get four, that's a good challenge. Okay, so back to the semiquaver subdivision. Again, here we can force out quavers. Da, 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 bum, 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 but again, it's very busy. Here it's a little bit easier to do the quaver pulse. So let's now let's extend it into quavers. Bum, 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 bum. Now remember, if you see a tie, don't let the brain think, oh, long note, and then play a long note. No, a tie is merely telling you you're not tonguing that next thing. The counting should be as if that tie was never there. So you got your quaver to semiquavers, tie to a bunch of four semiquavers. Who cares about the tie? For the purposes of counting, you've got group of uh, beats or worth of notes, which is quaver to semiquavers, and then your next group of beats, which is your group of notes, which is your four semiquavers. So bam, da 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 da, bam, ba ba. You want to recount, or else it's just gonna. You're just going to hold that note a bit too long, get the count be a bit off. And if it helps, just pulse it out just to force yourself to get the beat. And then eventually... And it'll become a little bit smoother as you just start the float through these groups of four semiquavers. Okay, let's look at that second to last bar. Bit of syncopation again. There's a couple ways to look at this. Um, one is to break it down again into our semiquavers and things. Bam, 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 bam. So right down the semiquavers. Bam, 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 bam. It's that tie again. So another way to think of this particular tie, and this happens in jazz all the time, is we're anticipating beat one. It's kind of, kind of a bit of a kind of a jazzy thing to do, or even though this is a rag, so very, very, very old school jazz, you could say. So, bam, bam, ba, 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 we're anticipating one. So that's how you can um, treat that last little section. Yeah. There's some dynamics. That makes the piece harder to play. But, you know, it's, it's a good one to try and play. It's very intimidating. Um, but really the trick here is, is you want to try and understand the beat, you want to understand the semiquaver subdivision and then once you build it up you can get a good pace going and then uh, with less beats allows you to go a lot faster. allows the piece to flow a little bit more and then you'll get a really good the entertainer.